the thing I hear from CEOs about, putting aside the country, in a very selfish way, is they think about themselves. Yeah. A lot of them say that they lived in terror between 2016 and 2020 because they feared they were going to wake up to a tweet storm back then because it wasn't X yet. I don't know if it would be an X storm now. Uh, about them and their company because the president had woken up and decided that there was something amiss about the business and how it was counter to him in some way. I think that's a real thing that very much consumes a lot of the Fortune 500 sort of business community, which is to say, what would really happen here? Do you think more would be speaking out if they weren't scared of potentially I think they are completely, the completely petrified. petrified. <laughs> there is no upside right. to talking in favor necessarily of uh, Vice President Harris or speaking out in any way against former President this Trump. Is what it's just, Disney it's, learned the hard way. 